What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more ranked battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Samurott team. Not just any Samurott team, it's going to be a Water Pledge and Grass Pledge Samurott team. Should be a fun one. Hopefully we get the rock out with it, showcase this team, and showcase the pledge moves to its fullest potential. And more importantly, grab you guys some wins with it. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But if you guys do not know what the grass pledge and water pledge combo does, it essentially puts up like a swamp, I think it's called, like a swamp kind of thing on the opposing Pokemon side, which will ultimately lower all the speed of the opposing pokemon scene so that's really really cool so anytime they're on the field it will drop their speed it's kind of like a reverse tailwind so i think it's a really cool kind of combo that we can pull off and especially if we can pull that off we get some big time speed control and really dominate with this team but uh real is gonna be our first pokemon he's going to be our grass pledge pokemon with grassy surge and assault vest grass pledge is one of its moves and then its other three moves consist of wood hammer knock off and stopping tantrum in our second slot, it's going to be Rillaboom's best friend. It is going to be Samurott for today's video. I have not used this Pokemon in ranked battles yet. Used the Hisuian form, but not the regular, so I'm super excited to be using this guy. He's got Shell Armor, the Grassy Seeds for a defensive boost when it gets paired up with Rillaboom. Then it's got Water Pledge, Ice Beam, Surf, and Detect. Fluttermane is in our third slot. Cannot go wrong with Fluttermane, especially with this one with the choice specs. It's got Dazzle and Gleam, Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, and Terra Blast with that Water Terra type. Urshifu is in our fourth slot. Everything is pretty standard with this one. It's got Unseen Fist. The Focus Ash has item Detect, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Surge and Strikes. In our fifth slot, it is going to be Roaring Moon with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. It's got Tailwind for Speed Control, Acrobatics for Big Time Damage, Throat Chop, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be a heavy hitter on the special attacking side. It is going to be Sandy Shocks with the Life Orb. It's got Thunderbolt, Earth Power, Terror Blast, and Protect as its four moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Give it a try. Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Samurott Pledge team. Match number one coming at you guys, and this one's going to be a tough one to set up the pledge. I might still try to do it, but they have Tornadus for a little bit of speed control, and then they're also rocking out with Landorus for Intimidate, Golden Go, Sneasler who could fake me out, Reggie Draco, and last but not least, they do have Indeedee. So I kind of want to try to pull it off, and I think I am going to try it. Little Boom, Samurott. I want to check out Samurott's uh, stats, considering I've never used it in ranked battles before. Speed's rather low. Its special attack is really high, actually, which I absolutely love. And with Shell Armor and high HP stat, I'm kind of digging them. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. I can get a nice little defensive boost, and we'll see who they want to lead. I'm not sure who they want to go into, but I'm going to bring Urshu in the back end, and then I'm thinking Fluttermane or Warren. Who would be better? Fluttermane's pretty solid. It's going to be super effective on two. The Sneasler and onto actually it'll be neutral onto the Sneasler because it is part poison type, but it will be super effective onto uh Golden Go and Reggie Draco. So you know what? Fluttermane's gonna be the call. Choice spec Fluttermane as a nice little back end Pokemon. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But kind of scared of Tornadus because Pledge is kind of hard to pull off, especially with the meta right now. The meta is very hyper offensive, very just like tailwind set up and just attack. So if they go to Tornadus, it's going to be kind of tough to get after things. And end up going into these two. So he can fake me out. Um, I could fake him out if I want to, but I am going to get a lovely defense boost. Lovely defense boost. I think Samrat's terror type is fire. It's kind of rough. Seems like probably just going to fake out my real boom, which I don't like. So I could just detect. I don't want to Terrasilize at all. I could just detect him and waste a turn out here. And maybe Pledge next turn. Hmm. I do have a nice lovely fire terror type. I do have that nice lovely fire terror type. Which I think I'm gonna do. Just in case he wants to attack me with certain moves, right? Like steel and the poison moves. I'm definitely gonna detect. I'm gonna detect Samurai and I'm gonna go into a knockoff here and terrasilize at the same time. So he ends up just withdrawing Golden Go. So Golden Go gets to withdraw. Who's he gonna throw out here? Maybe I could just pledge. You can go in DD. I don't mind that because knockoff's still gonna do a nice chunk of damage. He can't fake me out. Wow, we could have set up pledge pretty easily here, which could have been good. But he changes terrain more importantly and gets that nice little unburdened special defense boost at the same time. Okay, I'm kind of fine with that. I feel like setting up pledge next turn is gonna be pretty big for us. But we know he's not going for a fake out. I feel as like a dire claw is probably coming into the build room slot. Hence the reason why I terrestrialize in the fire. 
So we're not taking a crazy amount of damage to it. So I detect my boy here. Hopefully, Sneasel's just going after Samurai. That could be pretty solid for us. And yeah, there's Daikon in that slot. Wow, that still does a chunk of damage. What? It really put me to sleep? You guys do not know, Dire Call has a chance of putting uh, three status conditions on a Pokemon. Sleep, Paralyze, or Burn. And of course, it's putting my Rillaboom to sleep? That is just absurd. That is just absurd. So we're not going to get Pledge off this turn. That really just hurts the soul. And I'm just going to go for a Surf, and I'll go after Sneasel with this. That is just ridiculous. Ridiculous here. It's crazy. Dire Call is going to... If you put me to sleep, that's going to hurt the soul. Cool. And Rillaboom wakes up. So we could actually just set up Pledge. That could have been big time for us. So Stopping Cancer is going to fly here. Nice damage. Rocky Helmet's going to chip us up a little bit. And Surf's going to fly here. The Surf comes out here. I am KOing my Rillaboom, but it's all good. I was just looking to get off as much damage as I can. Plus, I thought he was going to Dire Claw into that and actually KO me. But we're fine. We're definitely fine. So from here, I could bring out Urshifu, which wouldn't be bad. I could also bring out... Flutter, Flutter, which might have to be my play. Nice little Flutter, Flutter. Of course I went to sleep there. So we don't even set up the play. It's not that big of a deal. Um, from here, I am going to go into Flutter, Flutter. I am going to save Urshfu as for back end. And I think from here, maybe we just hit this thing with a Water Pledge. It does look really cool. Hmm. Nice little column of water. Yeah, we're going to send it that way. And I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam across the board. Yeah, it's going to Dazzling Gleam. Even though Sneasel might outspeed me. I think it does with Unburden. Which could hurt the soul here. Die Claw coming into me. We're eating that, but still. Oh my lord, what is up with this? I still have Urshu in the back end. Still got this thing coming out here with Water Pledge. And that kind of ruined everything. Because I really wanted my Fluttermane to outspeed. Just so we can hit... The Sneasler first, and then Water Punch would have hit that thing and actually KO'd it. But now we're sitting here like this, which is tough. Because I was really hoping for the double KO there. So now Golden Go comes back out. You're... Oh, no, not Golden Go. And I'm just going to Surf here, and I think I might just... Uh, I don't have Protect. I'll just throw a Shadow Ball. I'm choiced. I forgot I'm choiced. I guess I'll Gleam. So what I'm looking to do here is he's probably going for a... Dire Claw into, yeah, into you, and then he's looking to go into and make it rain. Yeah, can you eat that up, Samurott? You do eat that up, Samurott. Now, that's a big time eat up right there, because if I can land this Surf onto them, I will get rid of Sneasler, plus I'll do some nice damage over onto, over on the Golden Go. So this is actually pretty big. We're still in this match, because we still have the one and only Urge food. So Samurott's actually doing really well, soaking up some shots, doing some big time damage. I'm liking it so far. We didn't use it with the Pledge combo, but... We're not sitting terribly. We are not sitting terribly. Considering I got you. I got my boy. So Reggie Draco is going to be final Pokemon. Okay. Reggie Draco is final Pokemon. And I feel as from here, we got to just detect this turn. And I really want to just Surge of Strikes into this thing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to Surge of Strikes right into Golden Go. Try to get rid of it, try to dump on it. But he also has Terra, right? They still have Terra, and I think Reggie Draco's gonna take over here. Go into that Dragon Terra type. Now you're gonna go into Golden Go. What Terra type do you have Steel, that's fine, that's fine. I should be able to KO him with my boy right here. I should be able to KO him with Urshifu. I am gonna detect Samrot just so. He can stay alive here. So Shadow Strike is, is going to fly in. This might... Is he going to eat up this up? Oh, this is cutting it close. Can we get the KO, please? Let's go. Let's go. That's a big time KO. Keeping us in this match. Reggie Draco, what are you going for? Because I have Sash. I do have Sash. I do have Sash, but you are a bulky little Pokemon, which is kind of annoying. Are you going for a Dragon Energy here? Just go after my Samurai or something. You go for a Dragon Energy. Okay, so that's a double hitting move. That's going to hit up onto my Reggie or my Urshfu and bring me down a Sash. I don't think we have enough attack power to actually KO this thing. I really don't think we have enough attack power to KO this thing. So obviously I want to go for this. And then close combat is our best bet here. But again, I don't think we have enough attack power to KO. We're going to try. Close combat's going to come out here. K 
can you outspeed Samurott? I don't think you do, which is really tough, and that would be game. Base Draco goes for Dragon Energy. Yep. Oh my lord, man. Honestly, that hurts a little bit. That hurts just a little bit. Because again, it was a one turn match here. Samurott did really good, but we did lose one turn to sleep. So that sleep kind of changed the outcome, but still, very solid matchup from our opponent. Let's hop into our second match. Look to pull off the pledge and grab ourselves our first win. Second match is on its way, and we're going up against a Hisuian Typhlosion. That's always scary to say, right? Because those things are really, really fast. They can do some big-time damage, and they can pair up with Murkrow. But I am going to go for the pledge here. I really do like it up against this one. We lost the first match. A little tough. My, uh, my real boom went to sleep, and on top of that, I forgot my Fluttermane was paralyzed, which did do us a little bit dirty there. So two lucky, lucky Dire Claw little status conditions but we take that one to the chin we're gonna win this match for you guys so i'm gonna go into the pledge combo again trying to showcase him off i am gonna bring urshfu because urshfu is just an absolute beast and then last but not least do i go flutter main do i go sandy shock sandy shocks is not bad here either or do i go in with roy moon i'm thinking more so roy moon i got the throat chop would be super effective on the few acrobatics can be super effective on two Urshifu, and on top of that, if Heatran wants to Terrasalize, we can just hit him with Acrobatics as well, so. Considering most Heatrans are that lovely little grass terror type. A lot of them are switching to Flying, but still, I'm cool with Flying. It's not that big of a deal. We'll see. We'll see what they want to go into, but I'm looking just to pull off the Pledge. I would love to just Pledge up, slow them down. They could go for Tailwind. Uh, if they do want to go for Tailwind with uh, with Hisui and Typhlosion, I could just Terrasalize my little move. And yeah, that looks like oh, that is going to be a play, correct? I think that's a play all day. I think that is definitely a play. Got the grassy surge coming out here. I'm going to get after it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to pledge up. I am pledging up. I'm going to drop that nice little pledge. Keep pledging, pledging. So from here, I'm going to Terrasalize into Fire, I'm going to set up the Grass Pledge, and on top of that, I'm just going to Water Pledge. So I'm going to double down into Typhlosion Slot. Chance are a choice Scarf. Or not Scarf. Actually, yeah, it could be Scarf or Specs. He ends up withdrawing the Murkrow. So Murkrow gets a quick withdrawal here, and who are you going to go into? What Pokey means? I'm going to go into Indeedee, just to change up the terrain. That's totally fine. Please don't protect the Typhlosion. That would really hurt if you're protecting Typhlosion. I know he's Terra- There's no way he's Terrasalizing and protecting at the same time. So he's gonna Terrasalize in a straight fire. That's totally fine, because I'm Terrasalizing in a straight fire. And I think both my Pokemon should be able to eat up whatever shot he has to offer. And then on top of this, we get off the pledge, and we can kind of roll off from there. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. So both battles our opponent hard swapped into Indeedee to take terrain from him, which is not that big of a deal. I don't really need the terrain. It's not like I'm rocking gla Grassy Glide like in Sword and Shield. But I don't really need the terrain. Plus, I'm not, they, they think I'm going for Fake Out. They do think I'm going for Fake Out, so that, that, that might be the reason why we're swapping in that terrain. So good tower from us. We're going to Grass Pledge up, and he's waiting for a move, and Water Pledge now comes out here, and we get the double down. Moves are being combined, and a Swamp is involved. It kind of hurts that that move is, uh, it counts as a, what's it called, move. It counts as a, what am I trying to say? It counts as a grass move, because if it counted as a water move, it would just take him out. But the swamp is out and about, and how many turns does that last? Four turns. Speed is reduced by 75%. We love that. We love that. Uh, from here, you know what? I am just going to hard swap you into, like, Urshifu. But I think a follow me might come out here. And I don't mind, actually, I'd rather hit you than anything. So, you know what? I'm going to go into that, and I'm just going to Surf. Just in case he wants to go for the follow me, I don't want to KO my Roller Boom. I don't mind doing some damage to my War Moon. But I just want to get rid of this Typhoon right here. I'm not trying to eat up another Eruption. So, I'll go into you. I'm get the Swamp Roll. These Pokemon are slowed down. Slow. Surf is going to flow through here. Should be able to get rid of Typhlosion. It does, and my Roar Moon was a great choice to swap. Cool. So Typhlosion is going. Swamp is still out and about. And if they bring out Murkrow, we could just set up a Tailwind as well, which I really, really like. Psychic's going to fly here. That is going to do some nice damage. And, oh, my 
Samrat survived. Him. He's just being a bulky, bulky little boy right now. So what I could do is actually protect and Tailwind if I want to. Really depends who he goes into. So I would love to get off another turn with Samrat. So we got the lovely little swamp out there. It looks like it is going to be Murkrow. Murkrow. So speed is down. And actually from here, if they set up a Tailwind, my, my Roar Moon should still outspeed. It should still outspeed, so I'm going to go into a Tailwind myself. And I'm going to try to get off an Ice Beam onto the Murkrow. Get off as much damage as I can. The Tailwind comes out here from Murkrow. Like I said, War Moon should still outspeed in DD, which would be big time. Then I should be able to get off Tailwind. Yep. Cool. Swamp is doing work. The Swamp is doing work. So we match the Tailwind. My Samurai is now faster than Ndidi. And we get off some crazy big time damage onto Murkrow. We love it. Clean flies here. That's fine. I'm still soaking up. So Swamp is still out and about. Swamp is still out and about. And we have a few good Pokemon. So from here, I feel as I save Urshfu, right? I gotta save Urshfu. I still have Terror type as well. Actually, no, I don't. I already Terrestrialize. Which it actually worked out perfectly. But I'm gonna bring out Robum here. And ch -ch 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 -ch. what move do I go into? What move do I go into? I definitely want to throat chop with Warring Moon. Just to get rid of Indeedee. And then I'm thinking I'm just gonna wood hammer. I'm thinking I'm just gonna wood hammer. Just try to get the double KO here. The ends up going for the follow me. This is exactly why I went for throat chop. Because Roaring Moon will dump on Indeedee. It'll say see you later to do it. And now I'm thinking this wood hammer should be able to KO. We are gonna take some damage to recoil, but still. I think we're I think we're fine here. Wood hammer comes out here. We got the terrain boost, all that good stuff. We get rid of Mercury. So cool. We have two Pokemon that are low HP and we have Urshfu in the back end. We can still definitely lose this one, but it's a solid match so far. I love that we that we pulled off the pledge. It's such a cool move. It is such a cool move. And actually, Robum has decent HP. 129, I like it. He's pretty bulky as, bulky as well. So we'll see who their final Pokemon is. It is going to be. Make it something easy for me. That's not that easy. But he has no double hitting moves, which is really good for us. So now I can go into an Acrobatics here and... I'd rather just go for a wood hammer. It's a darker Shabu. It is a darker Shabu. It is the dark Urshifu. So cool. No double hitting moves, which I really, really like. So it's not like he can just outspeed us, hit me with a double hitting move, and pick up the KOs. But we pretty much win this, right? Yeah, they use Terra. My Roaring Moon's gonna be faster than him. That's GG's. Game set match, baby. Acrobat's coming in hot here. Bring him down to red. He's probably going after War Moon. Yep. And then Rillaboom's just going to slap him up with a big time wood hammer. And that's going to be game. So Samurott and Rillaboom coming in hot here in match number two. We set up the pledge. And the pledge was actually super clutch. The swamp was absolutely amazing. We made the speed calculations correctly. Everything worked out perfectly. And now we're sitting one on one. Let's go hop into our third. Grab you guys a winning record. Final match is on its way, and I'm actually glad we got ourselves a win in that last match using off meta squad Samrot, so definitely tons of fun to use that. But we're going up against a tough one here, and I got about 30 seconds to pick. They got Tornadus, Chiyu, Iron Bundle, and Fluttermane combo, and then they got Shen Pao and Dragonite. Always going to be tough. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I feel as Tailwind could definitely be a big part of us, so I think I'm going to lead War Moon here. I think War Moon is going to be great. So I'm going to lead War Moon. I'm also going to lead... Do I lead Flutter? Do I lead Flutter? Flutter could be a solid lead. I think I am going to lead Flutter. And then I'm just going to go into Sandy Shocks and Urshfu. I'm going hyper offensive here. We don't have that much time to pick. We're going to cancel out the pledge Pokemon. We're going to say, hey, you guys can ride in the back this time. Considering we used them in the first match and the second match, I'm cool with uh, riding with our hyper offensive squad in this third and final match. Considering this one is going to be tough. This one is definitely going to be tough. And it kind of hurts that we lost that first match. Like that Steezler doing me dirty with paralyzes and sleeps. Man, it came down to the wire though. Because I would love to be sitting here 2-0. Because I don't think this one's going to go too hot for us. I do not think this one's going to go too hot. So it, they end up going into both of them. Um, I do have the lovely Protosynthesis. And I think I should... I think I should Terrastalize and go into Tailwind. 
I think I should. And do I want to swap you? If you go into Shadow Ball, you're going to KO me. But maybe you just go into like a Dash and Gleam. And then I can go into a Shadow Ball. So yeah, I'm going to kind of hope that happens. Because I am choice spec I would love to not be choice spec right now. It's always when you're choice spec you would love to not be choice spec But when you're not choice spec you would love to be choice spec If that made sense. If it didn't, rewind this, double tap the screen, go back 10 seconds. And uh, listen to that again. <laughs> but I would love to not be choice spec right now. Because I would love to just protect. Because I think a Shadow Ball is coming into Flutter Main. But I really don't want to swap into any other Pokemon right now. So we'll see. He ends up protecting. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. I'm very cool with that. So Tailwind's going to come out from him. We set up a Tailwind we match him. I'm all about the match. All about the match. So we match up here. Um, hmm. Is this Flutter Main maxed out on speed? Because that could be big. Tailwind from Tailwind. I'm kind of scared of an Icy win. That is a little scary if they are rocking it, but I want to see this Flutter main stats here. You're not fully boosting speed, which kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Hopefully their Flutter main's not. But from here, I am just going to drop an Acrobatics. like to pop it into that slot. And then at the same time, I am going to Dazzle Gleam. Oh, no, I'm choosing Shadow Ball. I guess we'll Shadow Ball into the Flutter main slot. We'll see what they want to do. So he ends up trying to double protect. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that because this is going to do some big time damage onto you. And then he's going to go for Hurricane and miss. Oh, wow. Wow. Might have been a misclick on the double protect. I really do think it was a misclick. But Shadow Ball is just going to absolutely rip into Flutter Man. That's going to be a huge upper hand for us. But again, match is not over yet. They probably got Shen Pao and Dragonite in the back end, which is can easily sweep teams. Easily, no problem. Let's see who he ends up going into. It's going to be the Shen Pao. So the Pao Pao comes out here. He's not playing around. Shen Pao comes out here. And do I get rid of Tornadus here? I don't think I do. I don't want... Like, I'm more scared of if I take out Tornadus that Dragonite's going to come out on the field. So I'd rather honestly just double down into... In the Chiyu. Or not Chiyu. In the Shen Pao. This is honestly what I'd rather do. Plus, you might even Thrasilize Shen Pao into Ghost type. It'd be pretty cool for us. We'll see. Yeah, I would rather not KO the Tornadus because I'm not bringing that Dragonite out. You're going to have to bring out Dragonite on your own. I'm not forcing that Pokemon out here next to Shen Pao. <laughs> I'm just not doing that. So, Acrobat's going to fly here. Warm Moon does so much damage. Look at that. Big time damage. Ice Spinner's going to fly here. And he's gonna go after Flutterman, thinking I'm protecting it. Ooh, we, that's actually a free focus, Ash. That's big time. That's big time. Shadow Ball comes out here, should finish off Shen Pao, and now we're sitting in such a good spot. So honestly, our opponent's biggest mistake this game could have been the, like, you could say it was the misclick, the protect, but the first protect was the biggest mistake. They had speed on me, they could have just started attacking, but hey, we take that all day. So, uh, out comes Dragonite, and I think we're pretty much chilling here. I'm just going to Acrobatics to finish you off. I'm going to Shadow Ball to try to get rid of you. And I think he's just going to try to E-Speed me down. Hopefully a little E-Speed, but Acrobatics should be able to take out Tornadus. I don't think E-Speed can take out my Moon. Moon. This match is pretty much looking looking good our way. I don't want to say it yet because there's been multiple times where I said it. Said that we won a match and we end up losing it. But Acrobatic's going to finish that off, and now I'm going to say, this match is in the bag. It is in a bag that's in a bag that is inside a bag. It's in five bags. It's sick. It's awesome. We're grabbing you guys another winning record on the channel. Shadow Ball's going to come out here. It's not going to do any crazy damage, but it is going to take off multi-scale if it's there. And we're just going to go from there. Tailwinds are gone. We take this all day, so Acrobatic's going to come here. And wait a minute. I want the sweep. So I'm going to swap you into you. I want the sweep. And we're going to go Shadow Ball this slot. Battle was canceled anyway. There's the sweep. We go 2-1 for today's video.
Gotta love a good 2 and one winning record, especially when we're using Samurai and Rillaboom Pledge Team. We got to showcase that one in match number two, and we got to use Samurai on its own in match number one, and I still actually really like this Pokemon. It was definitely top tier in today's video, doing some big time work in match number one, and then getting off that pledge in match number two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.